The latest update to Final Cut Pro 10 includes the ability to collaborate with other applications, and third-party apps can now build plugins that are much more useful to editors. And one of those, actually a couple of them, are designed to help make collaboration with other people easier. So you can share files, get notes, bring them right into the timeline. But there's been a couple features built into macOS that allow collaboration to happen very seamlessly. And specifically, two apps I want to talk about today are FaceTime and Messages. And I'm not actually going to demo these, but I just want to call them out because in the update to macOS Mojave, FaceTime now allows you to FaceTime up to 32 people. So you can see in this screenshot here, multiple people will be on the screen, and you can talk the, the actual sizes of the people. These little uh, pictures that you're going to see in the videos coming through will resize based on who's talking the loudest. And you can customize this as well to show specific people up on the screen at all times. And you can customize what you are showing to them as well. So this is just a great feature to collaborate with other people, whether it's another editor or someone else that's on the project. You can do this while you have Final Cut open and continue to work and see them. And if you have a second display, another great way to, to use this is to move that over to the second display. In a similar fashion, the Messages application, which if you go way back, was iChat back in the day. Uh, this is a great way to just text people back and forth. If you have an Apple ID, which you should if you downloaded and purchased Final Cut, you can use that just to sign in. And then using that Apple ID and using iCloud, you can sync your messages between your Mac and your other devices, whether they be other Macs or your iPhone, iPad, things like that. And when you send files through those applications, whether it be video chatting or using messages, uh, everything's encrypted, which is a great way to protect your assets as well. So if you're working on a project that's uh, maybe something that needs to be a little bit more protected, you, know, you can be sure that it is using an encrypted service like Messages and iMessage specifically. So those are some apps that if you are not using, they're built into macOS. I strongly recommend checking them out and using them in your workflows. If you have any specific questions, put them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them.